Hey guys, and welcome to Daily Glue today. And today I'm going to be showing off two different weapons. I'm going to be showing off the first legendary weapon that you have to farm inside Fallout 76 in survival mode. So that's one, it's a priority weapon. You have to get 25 legendaries. But first, I'm going to tell you the disadvantages of farming this thing because it's completely garbage. So, one, sometimes events don't work when it comes to farming this legendary and I know this is like the last day of farming it so if you already are at 21 to 25 maybe this might help you I don't know but again it, it's it's meh it's an instigating pretty much two rocket launcher I mean that's what it is because it's a 40 millimeter grenade launcher as a tube so we're gonna get the other side of that as well so let's say for example you spawn in and you just load onto a server it won't count sometimes sometimes it doesn't count legendary no stars just the legendary in the name of the enemy that you're fighting as well as you can possibly even have a three star that it doesn't even count so again you need to be on the server for at least anywhere from five to ten minutes before Wait, it starts to count on the tick because of server died. rollback time still being five minutes long this could affect on how it counts on side your weekly challenge goal so the first one i want to cover is my anti-armor explosive flamer legacy flamer and it's completely crazy in its regard because it's it's such a meme weapon I mean, the reason why I say that it's legacy is that the explosive effect does not carry over to the Flamer, Laser, Plasma Gatling, Plasma Rifle, Plasma Laser, Plasma Rifle, and I already said Plasma Rifle, Laser Rifle, and anything that goes pew pew pew, okay? So honestly, this is a pretty nutty weapon, it fires like a machine gun still. And it uses flamer fuel. It's it's kind of a meme weapon to just have fun with. If you have a lot of ammo with it and you just want to kill some things, do this in adventure mode. I highly recommend doing this in adventure mode. Or you can have a TF2 kind of style and you equip that card that's in charisma. That can, you can heal your teammates while in a situation. So you can be like, I heal you. I heal everything. I heal you. But I blow shit up. I heal you. I heal you. It, it's just a blast to have. So personally, if you actually had your hands on one of these flamer explosive legendaries, I mean, go ahead, use it. It's a meme weapon. It's it's a lot of fun. And I would personally just recommend it just for the memes if you have the memes. Or maybe if you're a team medic and you want to spice it up a little bit different because there's not that much stuff when it comes to content especially in the pve side as of right now until we get some new stuff that's going to be coming up in the later months so the next thing is the first actual like instigating 40 millimeter grenade launcher now the reason why i don't call it by its name is that it uses the trait instigating okay and instigating only works when a target is at full health okay this is something that you could, you could have got in the wild and i personally think that it's a debbie downer because of a few different issues that it's going to be coming down to now i'm going to be honestly recommending not even explosive weapons but personally like a vats build weapons are going to be very recommended i just personally actually got a 45 bloodied vats like 50 cal machine gun and it's actually pretty cool but going back into the grenade launcher it's just dumb if you farmed for it and you got the level 25 it's something to actually have as be like hey i got this collector piece hey i got this collector piece it'll be good when legendary mod scrappers come out and whatever we get as a token system or maybe a lottery system when it comes to like certain types of legendaries maybe you can lock down a certain legendary on a weapon or an item i don't know how the legendary vendor is going to work but i think that it would be pretty good just to scrap i mean to collect any legendary for scrap is good but at the same time you got to make sure that you keep your camp stash down low for a while until it actually comes out so again as well as if you're in survival mode and you don't have a mule personally always have a mule account when you're going back and forth 
that's just my personal tale when it comes to it because if you have something that you have only one account for and you can load two different instances of the game that's something different because you're able to actually achieve a lot more than what you are able to do by yourself all right so even though i've just talked about these weapons briefly at the same time they're still a lot of fun okay i'm not gonna, i'm not gonna lie to you they're good for pve survival stuff but they're definitely not for pvp survival mode level they're good for adventure mode but they're not good for survival mode again if you guys like this kind of content please leave a like leave a comment down below and have a good one